Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. So I've been picking up on uh, masculine. Um, I don't know if this is like a man that wants to have like an affair with someone but he's married. This is like a married person that likes to have options. Or this could be someone that may have told a community that you had an affair with them. And it's turning out that it was a lie and someone has been doing a whole lot to keep this lie from coming out. Um, but there's something where it's like a man within a community may have told maybe a group of people that you and him, I don't know if it's that you and him had like an affair, had a relationship or something and you knew he was married and you were okay with it, but it's not true. Um, so because he didn't want people to find the truth out, um, he's been doing a lot of malicious things behind the scenes to block the truth from coming out. And this man may have even been telling a whole lot of lies um, about you to a community, but I feel like the truth is going to be coming out. Um, I, don't, I don't know if someone did something because they're romantically interested in you, but maybe you knew that they were married and you decided that, you know, that's not really for you, which I will uh, commend you for something like that because I don't even know why there are people out here that date or talk to married people. Like, <laughs> achoo, I'm allergic to you <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> achoo, achoo. <laughs> Triple the allergic. Um, but there's something about a man telling a lot of lies that he didn't want coming out. Also, there could be a man that has been having either another gentleman, a lot of another masculine limit uh block you from receiving offers from other people because he wants to be the one to come in and give you an offer. But this is not someone that has done the healing work. This could be a king of pentacles that has not done the healing work, but maybe he wants to come in and give you an offer and yeah, I don't know about all of that. He wants to come in and give you an offer, but he's married. So it may be like some type of proposal to you that he'll give you some money or something. It's like someone wants to be able to touch you or something of that nature. Um, but it's that you're not really into that kind of lifestyle. You know, there are women out here and I'm not judging them, but there are women out here that don't mind taking money. You know, to lay with a man one or two times or however many times. I, it's not my place to, you know, judge them. But the fact that this man maybe even knows that you're not into something like that and to go to the extent of maybe lying on you, I think it's the reason why the message is coming out. But let's go ahead and get into this tarot reading. Thank you all for always watching the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. I'm sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source, I return to sender, all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Okay, we have a king of pentacles that may be in distress. Maybe he's broken hearted for giving the giving an investment or investing into a queen of cups. If he's disappointed, then this will mean that this is someone he found out to be a false queen of cups. Maybe this is someone that was misleading him, may have proposed some type of business opportunity to him. He had the money, she had the idea, except the idea was not something um that was worthwhile so maybe this is not really someone that likes to work this is not someone that puts a lot of energy into anything she just wants to be able to live that la vida loca live the good life uh so maybe he went ahead and invested in to this young woman and something has come back to bite him in the behind he may have lost a lot of money this may be like something that's a contract so he may be bonded to this contract with this woman and is having a hard time because I think, yeah, maybe she's low vibrational as heck. Um, I think she, um, he's bonded to this contract, so maybe they cannot separate until the contract is over. This could be a love situation as well. This could be like a man also uh, making some type of contract with a woman to be maybe his concubine, his lover or something. I'll give you this amount of money and you'll be my concubine for this length. And it's a binding contract. I don't know if that's even something that's feasible or if that's something that's true. Uh, 
that's real people actually do that you never know it's a lot of different kind of fucks in the world okay so it could be something but there's something where this man is finding out of this king queen of cups um it's not who she put herself out to be she could be someone who's a thief has been stealing from a queen of wands um from behind the scenes maybe there's something about as far as business she's been stealing some type of opportunity fulfillment idea to build a business empire based off of the ideas or the creativity of this queen of wands you could be the queen of wands collective that this woman has been stealing from and this has been the secret the whole time he didn't know but i think now he has foresight um the whole group the whole community has been a part of it this is why they've been so successful for a while but something is kind of flip turn upside down now because the truth is out that this queen of cups reverse this is someone very karmic and toxic this is someone very jealous very envious of other people especially you the one she's been stealing from um and the truth is coming out this is not something this woman can hide anymore maybe this is something she was working on hiding for a long time may have gotten other people involved um but what this man really wants is to have a family is what i'm picking up on so he may have committed to this woman thinking that he had found an all-in-one partner the lover the friend the business partner but it's turning out that she's not any of those um and it has this man burden because he's realizing that maybe he went up against you that's what i'm picking up on he may have betrayed you with his three of swords out here someone may have betrayed you and decided to go with the with another person and now he's finding out the truth he has clarity there's some type of communication he may have received that is helping him move things in the forward direction maybe he's coming towards you with an offer a new beginning or something maybe uh, like a partnership someone may have a lot of emotions for you maybe you two would have some type of get together some type of closure in divine timing um maybe he's finding out that this woman may have even tried to set him up tried to set you up it's been a lot going on behind the scenes with this car with these karmics in karmic veil i don't know why they can't just leave the rest of us alone i don't know maybe it's because we're the sauce or the sauce.com.net.org maybe even that gov this time okay um but someone is looking into something now now that he found the truth out about this queen of cups he is looking into something. Maybe there's some type of investigation going on or he may be looking for you. Uh, someone may feel trapped and isolated. I don't know how a fly got in here, you all. I literally don't know how a fly got in here. Like, I live in a lockdown unit. How is a fly in this building? I can't. Anyways, um, so someone may be looking into something now. Maybe there's some type of investigation going on. He's feeling trapped within a community, um, feeling like there's no way out because there could be like a binding contract that he has with this woman. And it's something that, yeah, it's a binding contract and it's keeping him stuck in some type of situation he cannot get out of, which is really heartbreaking. But I mean, he is the one that put himself in this situation. This could even be... Uh, scenario where he saw you saw this woman and maybe you come from a different side of the track and she looked like she was more his type uh you may not be this man's type uh, which is okay we all have our type you're not his type that's okay that was his type his type is teaching him a lesson hallelujah hallelujah and this is him now um feeling like he's lost everything he said, I, I, I'm, I may lose everything I've worked for, but that's because he invested in the wrong person, wrong place, wrong people. May have invested into a whole organization, built a business off of your back. Uh, maybe they wanted to wanted to build something off of your back or in your face or something. Build something together and then they can come and show it off to you. They can surprise you as the new couple in town or something. You see how the universe works. The universe has a good way of humbling people. Every single one of us, we go through this. It may be some type of court case going on now, um, maybe between these two or in this community. There's some type of investigation that may be going on. I don't know what this is, but maybe they'll figure it out. It's their problem, not ours. Uh, we're just here to give the story, give the message, because that's what the Most High, that's what the Most High uh, hired us to do. So we shall do the messages, okay? Um, so, uh, someone is finding some type of difference between you and this woman. So he invested into her and it was a zero return on investment is what I'm hearing or very little return. Okay. He's finding out this is not someone that likes to work. This is not someone that likes to put in effort or energy. Someone just likes to look good. They're just into something for the money. They don't have any passion for it. Actually, a lot of people around them in this whatever empire they've built, 
don't have passion for nothing. They just like to look good. They're simply there for the hunting. Hunting, if you get my meaning. Uh, they want to look uh, the bougie wee wee kind of like kind of way, but they don't want to put in the work to actually earn that bougie wee wee lifestyle. Okay, these are a bunch of snakes that came together um, and tried to build a successful business except the foundation that they're building this business on is not one that is sturdy it's not based on ethics it's not based on principle it's basically them stealing from other people with this seven of swords out here it is them stealing from another person trying to steal uh someone's happily ever after someone's fulfillment taking everything from them so that they can invest it in themselves invest it in themselves you know a snake doesn't a uh, uh, <laughs> There's this, excuse me, there's this line by the Fuji's I've always loved. It said, a battle is not a battle if a snake doesn't rattle. And then it said, I feel ejected. Put the needle to your skin and free reality is echoing. Okay, I'm not, I am not advertising or advocating any type of unhealthy lifestyle. I just had to finish the lyrics to that. Um, because that's like one of the sickest lines ever in rap. I feel ejected, put the needle to your skin, feel reality is echoing. Maybe that's beautiful. Uh, there's something here about a bunch of snakes coming together, coming after a freaking lion. Maybe these people thought, you know, this is one person. You know, we have this king of pentacles. We have his money. We have access to his money. And that's just one little star seed. So we're going to go and, you know, uh, uh, bite them inject them with our venom and things like that and take them out but these people have been biting and biting and biting and biting and biting but you're one special kind of lion apparently you're immune to these people venom um so it it, it it has gone so long that the truth is now coming out the truth is out and these people cannot pretend anymore that something belongs to them that they came up with something or this woman cannot pretend that something came from her like they are literally trying to take a ten of cups from a feminine energy Okay, and it's not the queen of wands in the reverse in the community. This is someone who is in the upright, in the light working community that these people have been trying to steal from. The whole community is upside down. They're worried, they're burdened, having a lot of anxiety, losing sleep because they know this is the end of the world. No more pretending, uh, no more connivingness. No more manipulations. No more nonsense. You got to live in your truth. But someone is gung-ho in this community to block you, stop you, keep pretending. Uh, someone may be in some type of realization or they're starting to maybe accept the fact that they're not receiving another contract with this masculine or with a community. And that's going to lead to them throwing some type of temper tantrums. Uh, someone is worried about you receiving some type of communication uh, when it comes to an ace of pentacles that belongs to you. This is what these people were trying to steal from you. There are two different Queen of Cups in this scenario, right? The one in the reverse in the community he may have invested in with the zero on zero return on investments. <laughs> Do we want to keep mentioning that? No, let, let, let's let's stop. Let's not be petty today. Um, and then there's the Queen of Cups in the in the upright, which would be you. You have manifested some type of is a pentacle for yourself, and even though you put in all of the work to manifest this. They to work for the most high to give you this because this is something that you nurtured by yourself. Okay. So you can see here you page of pentacles. You this is the stage where you are learning, uh, manifesting, working on perfecting uh your craft and things like that. You're a student at this age and at this stage and things like that on your journey. And you've managed to ma uh, manifest a freaking ace of pentacles for yourself. What these people have been doing is trying to block you from being able to have this freaking ace of pentacles, right? That's why we have the three of swords out here. They've been doing everything and anything to cause blockages, okay? Uh, disappointments and all kinds of stuff. Make, trying to even make you sick, have you taken out, uh, all kinds of slander, just... Uh, uh, betrayal after betrayal after betrayal by people you may know, people you may not know, because what I've been picking up for the last two months is that there's a group of people that came together solely for the purpose of destroying your forward movement. So they've been doing everything to block you from being able to move forward, and your ancestors have been stepping in to work with you and keep you in confidence, keep your mind on positive things uh, until this cycle can be over. Okay? This has been a very long winded and just chaotic freaking cycle that was unnecessary and the reason why this cycle even opened is because someone was jealous and intimidated by you but they wanted to be you they want to be you so someone believes that pretending learning your uh, 
your essence, learning how you do things, learning how you talk, how you how you carry yourself, learning how you dress, what you eat, what you don't eat, um, just how you do everything. They thought that that would make them an empress, that would make them a high priestess, that would make them a star seed. That's not how it works, baby. You actually have to go through the journey. I mean, as far as the healing, the disappointments by people you know and don't know, the 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 trials and tribulations, the the the, the net letdowns, the dis point baby you got to go through everything you can think of under the sun um for you to be able to get to that stage of the uh empress the high priestess the star seed the magician you gotta to to, to represent all of those energies in the upright you actually have to do the work believe it or not and it may be hard to believe but people that are genuinely in those energies they'll tell you there's no easy way there we wish there was, but <laughs> I'm telling you, there's no easy way there. It takes time, commitment, <sighs> fulfillment, right? You got to find, have a reason for why it is you want to even embark on that journey. You got to take time, go within, introspect, right? Become wiser. Learn to, you know, let the world carry on with what it is that they are involved in, they are indulging in. Kind of be like Noah. Do your thing the way the Lord told you to do it, okay? And commit yourself to your path, to your healing, okay? Go within. Introspection. Become a master. As a hermit, you become like a master, a seeker, uh, like a soul guide, spirit guide, mentor. That's the kind of energy you are seeking to be, right? When you decide to embark on this journey. You don't just wake up one day, you're a karmic. <laughs> you're a karmic. And then the next day you wake up and you're a freaking soul guy. That ain't how that works, baby girl, baby boy. That is not how it works. You've got to put in the time and effort, energy to be this, to be this, to have this, okay? No illusions, nada. Uh, collective, you may have someone in the public eye that may want to work with you. Maybe you know this person, you don't know them, uh, but they have their eyes on you. Yeah, this Queen of Cups, maybe whoever this is, she's going to have to cut her losses and move on. Maybe whoever is in the public eye could be this King of Pentacles, been with this nutcase for a long time, is cutting his losses and moving on. I don't want to be with you. You're full of nonsense. Maybe he, maybe she betrayed him, may have cheated on him. I also picked up on a woman that may have gotten pregnant by another person, but is trying to rush a man into some type of wedding, some type of marriage. So that she, I don't know if they've never slept together or they slept together or something, but she wants basically for some type of pregnancy to be hidden so that they can get married and they can say that he's the father, but he's not really the father. It could be like a king of swords that's the father. There's something really slimy going on behind the scenes and i don't know if this king of pentacles is aware i would believe he is with all of these swords out here someone is very much trapped in their head yes with this page of cups out here he's absolutely aware that a child may not be his god dang what should why would you do this girl why would you do this to yourself you had a good thing going on didn't you you had the man and his money you were able to manipulate him and play mind games with him and everything. You had a whole man on the side too that was in on it with you. And you had to go and F it up for the rest of you not irrelevant pass around bitches. What is wrong with you? You got a, you had a whole good thing going on. You had a good thing going on. What's wrong with you? Always out here manipulating. Girl... It's causing illusions and all kinds of stuff. Whatever relationship or marriage this is, you're trying to force this man into, I don't think it's happening. Maybe some a brother don't woke up. This came out sideways, baby. Listen, whatever you were trying to hide, the fact that you've been stealing from someone is coming out. It's not a secret anymore, okay? You can't hide it. Maybe you have to go in hiding now. You are going to be hiding now, not being out here in the open, causing any more illusions with these group of people and things like that because now they're trying to figure out how to seal onto common waters, especially with the person. Maybe this fly is getting on my last nerve in my lineage. You're getting on my last nerves. Okay, I'm trying to do my read and you're just here trying to distract me. Maybe this is this Jesse Bell spirit that sent you. Okay, I still know where I was. Uh, quit Calm down. Sit down and, and enjoy the message. Madness. And, I, and I'll and uh, help you ascend when I'm done. If you know what I mean. This is your last day, basically. Anyways, 
the uh, the group of people may be wanting to seal on the common waters with whoever it is you've been trying to defeat, stop, block, whatever it is in competition with, trying to lie and stuff. Maybe everything is out. You are the reason there's been so much chaos in a community because you've been telling a whole lot of lies. Trying to block two people from coming together. You're still trying to block two people from coming together. There's a lot of people that's been helping you behind the scenes and maybe they don't even understand why they've been working with you behind the scenes. Thinking that they were uh, bringing some type of attunement into a situation because you told them a lot of lies, told them a, a lot of nonsense. Oh, so now they're leaving you out in the cold. There's some type of financial assistance you've been receiving from a masculine. You won't be receiving that anymore, okay? This man says he invested in nothing but heartbreaks and disappointments and he ain't doing it no more. He learned his lessons. He's not into karmics anymore. He don't like karmics anymore and to call well kind of energy this man is done he's leaving you out in the cold moving on with his life don't want to be in misery anymore you are being exposed for the fraud that you are uh -huh. for the fraud that you are maybe i need to calm down it's too late for all this madness cynthia it's too late it's too late it's okay we're here for it only folks we are we are anyways back to the madness uh, baby girl, it's too late for all this nonsense you're doing. Let it go, okay? I don't even think this wedding is taking place. I don't know if you're trying to manipulate a man into getting married to you, baby. Let it go. Let it go. Out here manifesting nothing but misery for yourself and trying to manifest misery for other people. The heck do you think you are? Who the heck do you think you are? You out here bothering people that are not bothering you. You see that Queen of Wands having wish fulfillment, and what is this? This a family about to go through like disappointment while they're out of control, losing everything. They're still trying to control other people's destiny. You can't even control your own lives. How are you gonna control other people's lives? Someone is desperate. There's another Queen of Wands in here that's desperately trying to hold on to something that does not belong to her. I don't know if it's a contract she wants renew. I don't know if it's something that belongs to someone else she doesn't want to relinquish. Girl, they're going to help you relinquish it. You're about to be embarrassed out here. I would just let something go. I don't know why you are so persistent on farthering some type of narrative when everybody knows the truth. Even your ancestors know the truth, girl. They've been watching you. Everybody knows the truth. Even the elementals know the truth at this point. The rocks, the sand, the trees, the grass, the bushes, everybody, all the beings, sentient beings on a cosmic level, on a solo individual level, girl, everything, collective, communal, they all know the truth. Yo ain't getting that contract. It is not yours. It's not yours. So right now, people are just looking at you like a clown. They know that you are mentally unstable. They know that you are very chaotic. All you do is compete with other people, compete where you don't compare because you don't put in the work to do what it is that you need to do uh, to get to where you need to go. Girl, what, what are you doing? Why are you out here set on embarrassing us women? Anyways, back to this King of Pentacles because, honey, I'm sick of you. I am sick of you. Oh, uh, Queen of Wands reverse. I'm sick of you. You're a cold-blooded narcissist. I think they said this woman, what I'm hearing is that this girl here, she likes uh, empathy, like the empathy gene. She don't have it. So it's like everything goes in one ear and out the other. All she knows it. Someone, someone is mentally sick, basically. Mentally unstable. Mentally unstable. Someone needs to go see a doctor. Like a psychiatrist, psychologist, they need to go see one, okay? Because whoever did, I'm telling you, she needs to go see a freaking psychiatrist because this woman is a nutcase. A freaking nutcase. Dang. Mm -mm -mm. And she, she may even be out here playing victim now. Like, no, no, oh my gosh, you don't understand. I'm the one that did it, did it, did it. they stealing from me, they're lying on me. I'm a little, little. girl, stop it. Stop it. These people are trying to block someone from giving a, 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 a woman, an empress, a contract. So the pretentious empress wants to be the one that gets the contract, but the genuine empress should not get it. And she has gotten other people on board to help her. 
make sure that she gets the contract and it's still not going to her. It don't even matter if the other empress gets their gets their contract, you still ain't getting it. You still ain't getting it. <laughs> What's wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Man, this man is burdened. He's burdened about all the money he invested into this concubine, this Jezebel, this karmic woman group community. He's burdened about all the time, energy, efforts, resources he invested into these people. This man is stuck in his mind, feeling way down and burdened because now he knows the truth. Maybe he thought you may have done something to him. Uh, he's finding out you didn't do nothing to him. Yeah, there's a contract coming. Baby, there's a contract coming towards you, honey. Starcy, Earth Angel Baby, Indigo Child, whoever you are. Okay? Divine Being. There is a contract coming towards you. There's some type of investigation going on within a community. Uh, there's some people fixing to be going to jail, paying some money. Uh, some somebody may be sick. Baby, this chapter is over. It's over. It is over. People are about to be in poverty. Dang. Mm. Dang. They may have been plotting on a king of cups in the upright and then the baby. Uh uh. Nope, 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 nope. It's been a whole plot to take a king of cups out. And this this king of pentacles is burdened because he was very much invested in taking this king of cups out. Very invested. They're trying to even still figure it out. They said, what can we do to take this person out? We've done everything. We've done, done the death spell, disease spell, tried to poison them. Every, oh, they, they try everything on you, sir. Everything. Everything. Nothing has worked. So now... Now that they're under judgment, feeling way down and burdened, they're trying to they're still trying to figure out how to take you out. But your ancestors got you covered. Okay? You just stay focused and disciplined. Keep going within to find the truth. Your new beginning is right around the corner and it's gonna help you put an end to these disingenuous people. Anyways, you may want to come in and give come uh give some type of friendship offer to someone. It'll go well, it'll go well, it'll balance things out for you all. I, 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 I don't even know what to say because every day, every day is like the, 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 these people, I, I, the, the energy is redundant at this point. And the thing about tarot is the energy doesn't change very much. If you're doing readings every day, tomorrow again, we're going to pick up on these people and they'll be up to the scene shenanigans again. Out here plotting and planning to take people out. Out here plotting and planning to block people's destiny. Out here plotting and planning to keep pretending to be in the upright. Some of these people, it's like they don't even know the way, the, the things you all do, the way you carry yourself, the way you talk exposes who you are. So it's like the whole time you're pretending to be something or someone else, you don't even know. Because you're on a whole different frequency and the person you're trying to manipulate, you don't know the whole time that they know what you're really about. You don't know that... That they know possibly you could be like a, a pastor that's pretending and in behind the scenes you're into magic, into voodoo, who do, she do, could do, they do, we don't do because we're light workers. But listen, when you are out here trying to manipulate people and things like that, you're manipulating yourself. You're on a different frequency. Remember, you are on a different frequency than somebody else. And if you know that someone is a star seed, you trying to manipulate them is a waste of your time. Nine out of ten times, these kind of people are not going to say anything back to you. They'll play along with you. How, ask me how I know. Because <laughs> my intuition be telling me, don't say nothing. So, I'm telling you, don't say nothing. Keep it quiet. Keep it on the hush. So when you're playing mind games with yourself and you think you're playing it with us, you ain't playing it with us, we're staying quiet. That's kind of how we're built. Because when you've gone through so much stuff in life, you get to a certain point, you learn that silence, patience is not only what's virtue. Silence is also a virtue. 
You just learn to stay silent and let people figure it out. So when they want to come in and play dumb with you, you just play along with them. Play dumb with them too. Give them the answers they want to hear. Okay? Listen, it's, it's not manipulation. It's you are learning a lesson. It's that you're not, you, you're, you're obviously not getting it. You still think you're a king of the world, you're queen of the world. You have the authority to do whatever it is you want. And if I already know you're about to get handled by the universe, uh, who am I to be telling you? Because you already know what it is, right? You already know what's up. You know what it is. You know what I, you, you, you know what it is, girl. You know what it is, sir. You'll figure it out. But, yeah. When the times come for you to see the truth, know the truth, you'll see it. <laughs> but we're not about to entertain your stuff like that. Trying to prove a point to you. No, 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 no. We'll let you keep manipulating so you can keep thinking that you you got one over us. But the whole time, we know the truth. And in the end, we know you're going to have to move on. Because we didn't start nothing with you. Don't start no stuff. It won't be no stuff. That's how a lot of light workers are. We don't start nothing with you. But you pick it with us. We just hand you over to the ancestors. And they're wreaking havoc in somebody's life. I can tell you that. Look at that. Look at that. The king, the queen of cups, queen of queen of pentacles, queen of wands. Everybody, secrets are out. Someone may be even disappointed that she lost a friendship with someone. I don't know if you and this woman were friends. Maybe she was in competition with you to be you. Or I don't know. This woman here is at a loss. She got to cut her losses and move on. Because he still wants to work with this queen of pentacles. You ain't taking this person contract away. Oh my gosh. I'm so sick of these people. I am so sorry to be sounding so agitated. But after a while, these kind of people, their energies are just a little bit too redundant. And where's the positivity? Why can't you all just be happy for once? Why do you got to be so negative? Why do you got to spill so much negativity into the world? Why is it that you all have children, but you still get out here and spill so much negativity in the world? And then when you die, you just leave all that negativity out here for your children. Where do you think it's going, Billy? Where do you think it's going, Sally, to your children? That's your lineage. Come on. Supposed to come into the world and leave it a better place. Not leave it worse than you found it. That's why nobody in the spirit realm wants to come here. It's because of you people. Karmic and toxic acts can be playing little mind games and things like that on a wealthy man. So that he don't go in to give an offer to somebody. To balance something out. He wants to work with who he wants to work with. Let him work with them. Shut the hell up. God dang. I'm so sick of you people. Just turning earth in. Listen fly. Ooh you about to ascend. You are about to ascend when I'm done. Ooh. I'm just so sick of you people. Turning earth into a ghetto. Earth is not supposed to be a ghetto. It's not supposed to be a ghetto. God dang it. Just got this beautiful planet just vibrating on the wrong frequency. Because you're so immature, like empathy, unsympathetic, just freaking malicious for no reason. And then you want to come out and play victim when things do not go your way. It's so annoying. Oh my goodness. At least... Listen, I'm not even going to do it today. I can't. This whole karmic group, you're on my last nerve in my ancestors' bloodline. The last nerve that I got, listen, this wedding, whatever celebration this is, it ain't happening or it ain't going to go the way you all think it is. It's about to be real miserable. I don't know what it is you all are planning. Maybe the truth is out about oh, a marriage not taking place, a community being in uproar or disgruntled, dismantled, some type of abundance not going to a community, Queen of Pentacles not receiving something. Maybe someone kept a Queen of Pentacles out of a contract, was supposed to receive something, they didn't receive it. Some type of will was altered. Everything is coming out. Everything, everything, everything is coming out. Ain't no more pretending. This community is done. If you're all built an empire, lying, stealing, cheating, destroying, it's over. Whatever business you manifested, 
<laughs> manifested is over okay somebody ain't getting married or whatever marriage this is gonna be it's about to be a miserable one a miserable one a miserable one you're gonna have to cut your losses and move on something may not be as bad as it will be <laughs> i'm not gonna say that i'm gonna let you all learn your lessons Gonna let you learn your lessons, learn your lessons, learn your lessons. Oh, dang, look at you, Queen of mm, 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 mm. Baby, that Queen of Wands in that community, girl, you about to go through it. You went from having wish fulfillment off the back of someone else, pretending to be something, and now you just. Mm. And then you still got the nerve to be wishing for illness for other people. I wish the star seed to be homeless. Nope. I wish the star seed to be single forever. No. I wish the star seed to be miserable, rejected, and isolated. No, no, no. That's the universe telling you no. This is the future of the star seed. Having a brand, thinking, journey. Limitless opportunity. Baby, this is someone's, someone that's authentic. Okay, this is like a visionary you're trying to block. You don't got no visions. You don't got no inspiration, aspirations, nada. No originality to you. Just boring. Just a plain gene walking about. You could be pretty physically since you're showing up as the queen of wands. And oftentimes, people just assume because someone is the queen of wands, they're pretty. It don't mean they're always pretty. It just means they're fiery. That's all. Someone will have a lot of fire in their charts. That's about it. But she could be very beautiful. But you don't got no originality. Nothing. Maybe you, maybe you went to school. But maybe school didn't teach you nothing but about common sense, nothing about morals, ethics, nothing. You just went to school to say you went to school, huh? Uh, the education you got, I guess you couldn't couldn't apply it, so you just became what? I don't know, girl. I don't know. Your your energy is just. Uh -uh. I don't want to be part of it. Girl, how are you gonna be out here wishing for someone else's downfall? What's wrong with you? That ain't how that works. Oh, it's the battle of the <laughs> the masculines. It's a battle of a king of pentacles and a king of wands. Okay. I don't know if they're in some type of battle over a queen of cups or something like that. And then there's another one, a king of cups, maybe in some type of unhappy relationship with a woman. Nobody cares about that one. Baby, if you're ticking, you're not in the competition. You are not in the competition because high priestesses, empress, they're, they're the people that are ticking. Even if it's just someone that's a friend, a female, or a guy that's your friend, they ain't interested. It's, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Emperors move the same. Oh, you got a who friend? You got a male friend? I'm good. I'm good. Because they know exactly what they want, and that's what they stick to. If you are confused out here, going that way, that way, you like to have options. You are not meant for a true emperor or a true empress. They don't got time to play with you and your friends and your options. They don't got time. I'm just telling you. They don't got time today, tomorrow, or any other day. You you stay over there with your options. They're going to stay focused to their destination. They're very disciplined. Someone in here likes discipline. And there's a whole family trying to control. I don't know if they're trying to control a king of wands, keep him stuck, keep him from moving on, keep him from getting in a new relationship. This is someone who's a, like, he's a bachelor. This man is single, single. Let him go live his life. Maybe he wants to go present a love offer to someone. I don't know. Has he done the healing work? I don't know. But if he wants to go live his life, who are you mother suckers to be telling him what he can and cannot do? Are you are you not using this man for munting? Because it looks like you are trying to keep him in some type of unhappy relationship. Trying to control him. Dang. That brother is trying to leave somebody. He said, I don't want to be with her. I'm, yeah, he got a wife. He got a wife. But this relationship is over. He got a wife. This king, queen of pentacles could be his wife and he's leaving her out in the cold. Maybe they haven't been happy for a long time. Looks like she may have an option over here too. 
But maybe she don't want him to move on with her, with his life. Like we have an agreement here. You do your thing, I do my thing, but we stay married. Why are we getting divorced now? He's like, oh, well, you know, the one I want to get with now, they don't do people that like to have options, so I have to do the right thing and get divorced. And and something tells me it's a temporary thing. He may just be coming in. Maybe he's going to get a divorce, but he'll still be connected to the woman. There's some type of business agreement or something that could be going on between them. I don't think he's really getting a divorce just to be with you. This is someone who likes to have options. So I don't believe that nonsense. No, someone likes to have options. That's what I'm picking up on. He likes to have options. He likes to have options. So I don't know what this is, but don't trust him. He's your app. He's your app. That's the app. Okay. Don't do it. There's something in here about getting... With someone for money, getting married for money. I don't know what that got to do with it. I don't even want to look into it because that makes me feel uncomfortable. I can't. You mean I got to. Mm -mm, I can't. That makes me feel uncomfortable. It's a whole lot of emotions. A lot of mental turmoils. People are having a hard knock life. People ain't getting no sleep. Nothing. Is, there, is he going to need to give her an offer? We've done everything to stop them from getting, coming together. Did you tell him that she's a thief? Did you tell him that she sleeps around? Did you tell him that she doesn't know anything? She's retarded? Did you? Yes, we told him everything. He still go in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we told him. We told him he, she got this, she got that. No, she... She's pathetic. She's uneducated. She's disingenuous. She's not grounded. She's this and she is that. <laughs> he's still going in to give her an offer. Yeah, he's still going in to give her an offer. I'm going to go hire someone to kill her. Dang. It's that bad. You that desperate. What? <laughs> is you mad or is you sad? It's your man. It's your sad. Because a man want to go be happy. I've never understood that. Someone wants to go be happy. Go, let them go be happy. Baby, if it's where they're meant to be, that's where they will be. You can do all the magic, the manipulation, cause all the conflict you want, you want in life. If someone wants to leave, guess what? They are going to leave. Okay? They're going to leave. They're going to leave. Oh, I missed you. You're about to ascend. Oh, you're about to ascend. Let me get down and turn this camera off. You're about to go back to the ancestors. When you come back, you may come back as human. Since an ascended master is taking you, sending you back. You're about to ascend. That's what I mean. Okay, look at you. Blessed. About to be taken out by an ascended master. All lives are valuable, folks. All lives are valuable. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Let me make sure I'm getting everything in here before I go and take care of business when I'm done with this reading here. Because this fly here is getting on my last nerve. That ain't my ancestors. My ancestors don't be monitoring me as flies. They come as little, you know, uh, um, auras and things like that, but not as a fly. That ain't one of my folks. So we're going to take care of you when we're done, okay? Okay. Anyways. Uh, oof. Yeah. Maybe the friendships are over, the collaborations, everything. Everything is turned upside down, like Bel Air. Everything is upside This man said he's, whoever this king of wands is, this man said he's stuck in a toxic relationship. He can't find a way out. He's been out here having his options for years and things like that. He may even be offended at the fact that you don't want to talk to him because he's married. Can you imagine? Girl, who the heck do you think you are to have some class about yourself? Who the heck do you think you are telling this man here, huh? This brother here. This fine looking thing with some money that you don't give a damn what he got. Who, who are you? I need to meet you because I like you. <laughs> he said he got money. He got cars. He got clothes. He got perfume, colognes. He got everything. And you got the audacity to be telling him that what? You don't want him? Girl, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you, sister? I need to meet you so we can be friends because I like you. 
I'm just here to have you and your money and your sparkling white teeth. Yeah. Ooh. That's that Empress look we give y'all when we be like, and? Okay, so what you telling me for? <laughs> I'm the president of blah 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 blah. Oh, uh, that's good. That's nice to know. Congratulations. <laughs> and then be turning right around and walking away. Maybe I just I can't <laughs> I can't <laughs> get out. You're gonna have that man pissed off. It could be like a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. You're pissing off. You know the the King of Wands. That that's what their signs are. It could be a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. And baby, <laughs> he said, "I'm single now." He said, "Yeah, but you're up to something. I don't know what you're up to, but I don't, I don't care about you being single now because there's something. It's something, something you're up to. How you just get single all of a sudden? How long you been single?" Three days. Uh uh. We're gonna have to give it about six months or a year. Okay. <clears throat> You're gonna come over here with some sense. <laughs> I like you. Girl, do I like you? <laughs> she said, go, go go away, go try again. Give it about six months. In about six months, you come on back. Okay. And if you still been single and you've been celibate and not selling a bit. Then come on back and we'll talk. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I bet some people don't watch me with this girl is retarded as I sure am. And whoever I end up with, I hope you're retarded too. Because, Lord, I won't be able to make it with you if you come around me being a stick in the mud. I'm stoic, but I also, I also have a good sense of humor, a wicked sense of humor. So, it, just be... just. Have a little bit of retardation to you. Just be a little bit retarded. That's all. That's all. That's all I'm asking. I don't be asking for much. Just be retarded like me. <laughs> he said, shoo shoo, go away. In about six months, <laughs> if you've been single, you've been disciplined, don't come here with no illusions. <laughs> And then you can go for it. Oh, look, 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 look. Your narcissism is still out here. You're still trying to defeat me, right? You say you got to get out here and conquer women. Uh-uh. You got to go back. Go on back. Go on back. Try again. Try again. Try. Try again. No, you can't pay me to choose you. Keep away. Keep away. Keep away until you decide to live in your truth. Not this nonsense. And not this nonsense. Then we can talk. Mm -mm. He said he likes to have options. This is someone that likes to have options. And the reason he's been stuck in this relationship for a long time is because she lets him do whatever he wants. She has options. He has options. They have money. It is what it is. But it's a battle between a king of pentacles and a king of wands. This king of pentacles, maybe they did something to you in the background that you're not aware of. May have betrayed you. I don't think either of these men are for you either of these men you may end up with a king of cups and maybe he's just a king of cups because of you but i'm picking up on somebody that you probably don't want to people don't want to fool around with because he can handle business he may come across as a king of cups but there's something else beneath the surface and it's not something bad someone just very protective anyways uh yeah i don't think either this king of pentacles or this king of wands I don't think either of them baby. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Because this person here. Who? Mm -mm. May I'm also picking up that a king of pentacles may have found out that a king of cups may be interested in you. And he's looking into this king of cups. Who is this person? How do we stop him from coming towards her? Who is this man? Where is he coming from? When is he coming in? Someone's very crazy. Very crazy. I can't with these people. But that King of Wands, though, that's a piece of work. There could be somebody's soul twin. And he's very much in his low vibrational energy. He ain't done, he ain't done no work to heal nothing. A brother don't care about healing. All he care about is conquering women. Can you believe it? At his ripe old age and your ripe old age. 
Instead of him trying to do the work so that he can settle down, have fulfillment in life, he's out here playing tricks like little boys. Maybe he's about to be out here with his options. Let's see what happens when he gets older. If those options are going to be around to take care of him. Oops. No, no. Okay. And yeah, I think he's going to put y'all in his will. <laughs> Antonio? Can't. When he gets old, done lost all his teeth and stuff. Antonio, did you put me in the well? What well? Yeah, I am putting you in my motherfucking well. What wrong with you? You go for one thing, one thing only. <laughs> Listen, let me get off of here. I am about to be pissing off those karmics tonight. Because maybe they're on my tail. And I don't know which one I don't pissed off there. I had shutting off my computers and... I just be doing my job. I got to do my job with a little bit of humor. They said, uh-uh, you ain't about to be out here laughing at us. They shut my iPhone down, my computer down, because I'm just doing my job. That's it. I pissed somebody's off. Somebody off, yeah. Anyways, two people will be coming together. I don't know who y'all been trying to stop from coming together. Uh, maybe you all have been trying to stop a queen of cups from having fulfillment in life. <laughs> They're going to get it. Oh, yeah. Says the most high. <laughs> Anyways, thank you all for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.